It's Wednesday, Klaus here. It's time for another basic DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Hello, Klaus here. It's Wednesday and time for yet another basic DaVinci Resolve tutorial. So in this episode, I'll show you how to do a hit impact. It's an effect you can use, for instance, for music videos or short films where you want to do a impact in your shot. So I'll, I'll just run you through it instead. Alrighty, so we're going to use this clip with this guy playing the drum and I want to do like an impact hit on the drums. For instance, here I want the camera to shake and do some stuff. Okay, so let's uh, do that. So I'll go up to the effects library and to open effects. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't see this, I'm running DaVinci Resolve 18, the public banner and uh, well, it's running pretty fine so far, so just to let you know. But um, let's go back to this tutorial. So I will go up to the open effects, and then I'll just scroll down to the DaVinci Resolve transform effects, which should be around here. Here I have the camera shake. I'm going to put the camera shake on the clip. And I'm just going to figure out where I want this shape to be. So I think it would be cool to have it around when there's a hit on the drum here. So before the hit, which is around here, I'm going to select the clip and I'll go up to the inspector. And in the inspector under effects, I have my camera shake. So I'm just going to take the motion scale and the speed scale, and I'm going to put in a keyframe. I'll go a couple of frames forward, and then I'm just going to bump this up. And you can do different things doesn't really matter how much you can play around with it and make it look the way you want. And then I'll go a couple of frames for it again. And then I'm just going to put this, the speed scale and the motion scale all the way down. Something like this. So here we have this effect. Cool. Pretty easy. Of course, you could do this similar effect in another way. For instance, if you had a lot of different beats where you wanted to do this kind of thing. We could also just do that by going to the effects, going to a adjustment clip, and I'm going to do an adjustment clip. I'm going to, let's say, put it the same space here, around here, and then I'm going to take the camera shake effect I had before again. And then I'm just going to put that into the just my clip. I'm going to do more or less the same effect again. I'm going to be around there. I'll select the clip, to go up to the effects, and of course do the same thing, putting in a keyframe at the motion scale and the speed scale. Go a couple of frames forward, bump it up, and then move a little forward again and bump it all the way down. And then I'm just going to make the adjustment clip itself shorter. So now we have this. So the reason why it's pretty cool to do it like that, if you are running on a beat and you are, for instance, running your clip and pushing the M to do marks where you want this effect to be, like that, we could just simply push the Alt button drag and then you could copy paste this all the way let's say where we put our marks if that's what we want and then we could do it something like this then we would have the effect replicated as many times as possible and uh, pretty easy to control it that way as well anyway i do hope you found this little tutorial useful if you did please hit that subscriber button give the video a like share it with your friends if you think it would help them out and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel please hit that bell icon down in the corner until next time keep filming keep learning and keep sharing